Oh, Alan and Cheryl, the size of the crowd tonight certainly mirrored the pain felt within this close knit community and that pain was palpable tonight. You could feel it with every embrace between neighbors and friends and some before this week strangers now forever and forcibly bonded by this horrific tragedy. Recently, we've had far too many vigils and burials as a result of gun violence, and it has to stop. A community in mourning crying out. This is a different type of grief. This is a traumatic grief that most people never experience. And coping by coming together. It's just devastating to, to see my community um, have to go through this pain. Just as they did July 4th for what was supposed to be a celebration. We were just here. We were just here. This time there were no sparklers but candlelight. This time no patriotic theme of red, white, and blue, but stretches of orange strips of fabric crisscrossed throughout the crowd. We're kind of filling the space with orange uh, to spread awareness about. Um, the impact that gun violence has on everyone's lives. Each and every one of these are holes in our hearts and in our community. The art installation entitled Enough bore the same cry from the Highland Park community tonight. We're really grappling with the whole enormity of that we survived, but yet we watched people being shot. Demanding no more strips be added, no more lives stolen and no more hearts broken. We can't do this by ourselves. We need everybody together to help us to go forward because it's gonna be a process. A process that will take time and more importantly for this community, unity. If you can hear me, say Highland Park strong. Highland Park strong. The youth led vigil tonight from what we saw brought out hundreds, if not close to a thousand people in this community. The organizers say taking up this space, not just to grieve and mourn, but also to start a new beginning for this city. Now joining the ranks, the names of others fighting to be the last city impacted by gun violence. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.